Come on, Jimmy. Let's go back and forth. Pick your preference. All right, guys, my name is Oscar Ruiz, and I'm going to talk to you about the top three contributors to climate change, what the top three elements are. So uh, first, how many of you have heard or read anything about climate change in the past weeks or months? I'm sure you guys hear a lot about it constantly, every day. That's all you hear about. That's because it is, it is a very real thing, and it is really happening. So, space bar here. What even is climate change? Climate change is a significant change in Earth's global weather patterns. You may have heard the term global warming. Scientists consider that a little outdated now. They prefer climate change to account for everything else happening in the world. But global warming is still relevant as that is the overall uh, thing that's happening to the Earth and that it is slowly warming. And since the industrial age, it's actually went up 1.8 degrees. And in the grand scheme of things, that might not seem like a lot, but that's a lot because the industrial age was only what two hundred, about three hundred, two hundred years ago. That that's a lot. That's a lot of uh, temperature rise in that short amount of time because the Earth has been around for what billions of years. Now, one of the first things I want to talk to you guys about is about greenhouse gases. This is the kind of the number one thing in terms of why the Earth is warming up. Uh, CO2 is the largest culprit, that's a man-made thing emitted by plants, animals, especially fossil fuels, uh, such as oil, burning of gases, and the use of land. Uh, use of land meaning building factories and manufacturing, and that, that does a lot in terms of uh, emitting CO2. Uh, the EPA, which is the Earth Environmental Protection Agency, estimates that 65% of all of the gases that um, are harming the earth, as far as the man-made ones, are CO2. Water vapor is the second largest, and that one, um, that's a naturally occurring atmospheric gas. Uh, that one's really dangerous because it acts as a feedback to the environment, meaning when um, the CO2 gets emitted and it makes the earth hotter, the water vapor uh, will capture that, and it'll trap it and amplify the heat, making making it obviously even hotter, like double that effect. Uh, and then you also have uh, methane and nitrous oxide. Methane being like farming uh, and like manure when you fertilize, and nitrous oxide being like, kind of like what you put in balloons. Uh, I have this little graph here to kind of show you the chart. You got water vapor, 95% of the natural and atmosphere already. Uh, there's CO2 and then actual of the man-made carbon dioxide. All that, take a quick look at that. Uh, next one's deforestation, land use. Uh, so not only does that damage the habitat, biodiversity loss, meaning animals get extinct, and aridity, meaning the land uh, gets dried up when you do that and you're destroying it. It also affects photosynthesis, because uh, when you destroy forests, trees can't do photosynthesis. And I'm sure you guys remember from like fifth grade what photosynthesis is, right? The sun shines light on the, on the plant and then uh, there's water and carbon dioxide, and then the plant makes oxygen. So that's what photosynthesis is. Uh, mass carbon dioxide is uh, released as the trees die. So as the trees absorb the carbon, the carbon dioxide, when you chop them down like that, all the carbon dioxide built up into it all releases at once, which as you would imagine is really bad. Um, albedo, what that is, is solar and, and light reflection. So when the sun shines down, it's very hot rays of energy. It's, um, it doesn't get reflected back with, if there's no trees. If there's trees, it absorbs it. If there's no trees, it doesn't absorb it, and then uh, it gets trapped again. And as you can see, since the start of mankind, we've lost 50% of all of the natural forests. It's a very large number. Lastly is aerosols. These are tiny air particles produced by burning of fossil fuels, fog, dust, and steam. Chlorofarbons, uh, what that is, that was known uh, since the 80s when there's hairspray and everything that was destroying the ozone layer. I'm sure you also heard about that in grade school. They don't put that in hairspray anymore, but I just thought that was an interesting thing to recall. Uh, aerosol can also create an unnatural cooling effect that actually helps cool down the earth. The only bad part is it's really bad for your health as a human. It can destroy your heart and lungs, and it can also negatively affect the weather in that it can destroy natural rain patterns, which can further lead to droughts or uh, flooding in other areas. So long-lasting effects uh, of climate change, uh, heat gets trapped, temperatures rise, sea levels rise, and I put that picture there, very scary, very bad. 
just so you know. Uh, my references there, and really I did this just to inform you guys about the effects of climate change. 